Hey guys, it's Thursday, March 22nd, 2018, and Michelle is back with Mandy and I to go over some room designs. Hey, Michelle. Hey. Mandy, how are you? I'm great. So excited. Yep, I've got some good ones to show you today, so let's get right to it. Here's the first one that we have. It's a Kinsville Music Store, and it was sent in by La Pastilla. Now, I love all the different instruments we have in Webkins, and there's such a variety of them, like those wacky pianos there. There's those wooden pianos that you get from Family Score Prize. Lots of different stuff, right, Mandy? Yeah. I love it because you know what? It's neat that they have two of those pianos because when you go in a store, you're going to find, you know, <laughs> two of the same thing. But then mm -hmm. those other wacky pianos are really going to be rare. So you'd probably only have one of those. Yeah. And, then, and then the counter right in the middle. I mean, there are all these great instruments around, but then it's a shop, right? Mm -hmm. So you have the uh, manager sitting at the counter in the middle and someone's up at the counter, obviously interested in buying. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And they look the part that Blue Buys and Calf dressed all up. <laughs> yeah. Perfect for a music store shopkeeper. And it looks like you can test out the instruments before you buy them. Yeah, and I like the little details that they've added to the wall, like the music notes and the records and the saxophones. So really great. Uh, yeah, I was just yeah. going to say too, I like that they used paint on the wall because there's so much happening in that great rocker's flooring that it's yeah. kind of nice that they've gone uh, with plain walls and then you make the items really pop out. Absolutely. Really cool music shop, a La Paquita. So let's keep going here. This is the next one it is a squirrel's forest that was sent in by 1212 blue now, i really like this um there i see two squirrels there and um i like that they've uh, been digging up some ground maybe looking for some of those acorns but they found treasure there as well which Ooh, is pretty nice. cool yeah yeah i love that house that's exactly the sort of house you would imagine a squirrel living in of <laughs> course yeah and uh and the beautiful fall colors it's so pretty and and there's pumpkins it's really an inviting sort of warm cozy area mm -hmm. yeah it looks like those squirrels could get up to lots of different fun things playing <laughs> in those leaves and those trees and yeah they find treasure they're their own you know metal detectors i guess <laughs> yeah and i love how many trees they put in the background there to give the room the sense of depth and then they've just kind of carefully placed each item and created this little clearing right in the south corner up front there which is really nice so great job 1212 blue let's move on this one's really cool this is a uh, snowman land and was sent in by Matu uh, Matoaka. Matoaka. There you go. One one four. <laughs> but, it's hard. Yeah. Some of these names. But now I love this wallpaper and flooring, Michelle. You guys released that in the um, e store recently, right? This past winter. Yes, it was um, one of our expanded wallpapers. There a room with a view section on the e store. Mm. You can find all these sort of extended and expanded kind of environment wallpapers. So cool because you know, obviously, the pets here are building a bunch of snowmen. And, and yeah, when you do that, you, they always leave these trails where you can see where you've rolled up the ball for the snowman's body. So I thought that was a really clever room design um, and really clever design for flooring and, and wallpaper. Really neat. And I love with this wallpaper and flooring, I love the scale of the snowman because they're pretty big, right? Yeah. So that makes it even more fun. Yeah. And we actually have a bunch of snowmen in Webkin's World that they've added to the room as well. So great job. Um, let's move on here. This one's really cool. It's an excavation site and museum that was sent in by Clissa. Now, um, I know that we there's a lot of interactive ex exhibits at different uh, museums, but I think this one is really cool because whoever comes and buys a ticket can actually take a look at um, an excavation site and, of course, pick up a souvenir at the gift shop as well. So Now, is that a Family Square Prize 2? I think that excavation site? It could be. Oh, I, I think can't... it might okay, be, yeah, but I, I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but oh my gosh, it is amazing. Like, it's so stunning. And then they've mixed it with those dinosaur bones it it really works so well and oh, yeah. that michelle i've never seen that uh really? red dinosaur <laughs> thing in the corner what is that uh, that is an easter item as well as the ticket booth and the tyrannosaurus rex oh cool a little gift shop yeah, they, yeah they're all part of our museum sort of play set oh so is that the red dinosaur part of the counter yes it's the oh, back wall of the counter cool yes. that is a great item wow mm -hmm. i can't believe i missed that one <laughs> Lots like, of great items yeah. at the e-store, Mandy. you got to check it all out. <laughs> I know. I do yeah. love that ticket booth. I've seen that before. And that's mm -hmm. a real showstopper, too. So cool. Yeah, it's like a shark, right? So you're yeah. actually inside the mouth Really, the they've done such a good job of putting this together. Yeah, so great job, Clissa, on your room design. Now, this one's really fancy. It was sent in by Superman and Batman 4, and it's a fancy con.
Mondo. And they've used a lot of different items, including a violin super bed there that's um, lying beneath the hippo on the half shell painting. But um, everything is just arranged so elegantly. And the colors here definitely give it a very fancy feel. Right, guys? Yeah, it's beautiful. Like the white furniture that they've used really make the reds that they've selected mm -hmm. pop out. And I, I'm not familiar with that wallpaper, but wow, it's so opulent. But I love the way they've sort of let the deep rich reds pop out and they've gone mm -hmm. with neutral colors elsewhere. And and then it makes the bed pop out too, right? With the gold and that, is it a cello or a violin? But really <laughs> lovely. Yes, it feels very luxurious with the warm sort of red rug and the multiple different rugs actually, and then sort of a more modern kitchen and living room, but a more elegant sort of bedroom. I just, I really am fascinated by this room. Yeah, and the wallpaper that Mandy was talking about, that is from the theater theme, right? I believe it's the Webkin's Theater. It looks theatrical, but... <laughs> Maybe it's not, but I, I, I think that's where it was from, which is available at the W Shop. So there you go. Great job, Superman, Batman. Now, this one's really cool. It's very colorful and perfect for spring. It's an Easter egg hunter room, and it was sent in by Four Paws 212. And uh, this is really cute. Now, they've used a lot of those flower patches that we've given away from our chocolate egg event in the past. And um, they've added in all sorts of little plushies and little toys there to give it a really fun feel for the Easter egg hunt. So really, really cool. Yeah, you can just see so many places where you could hide yeah. Easter eggs. I mean, this is the perfect garden if you're going to have an Easter egg hunt with all the little patches of flowers and the mm -hmm. different fencing and that little hideaway. I can't remember if that's that's a PSI. But I believe it is uh, yeah. maybe the fire font. Oh, okay. And it's so pretty, the colors, but everything is just so, it really feels like I want to eat an Easter egg now, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's just really got that look. Perfect. It's cute how they use the bunny planter sort yeah. of as fence posts almost to just make it a welcoming kind of way to get into start your Easter egg hunt. Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely. Now, we just passed St. Patrick's Day, but this, I thought this room was really clever. It's really simple, but it's Ooh. the end of a rainbow, and it was sent in by mom number one. And what they've done is used these little clover patches that you could collect from Webkin's News, and they put in green flooring and added the clover patches to create one giant four-leaf clover in the center of the room. And of course, they've added that treasure chest perfectly so that yeah. it looks like it's right at the end of the rainbow that's incorporated into the wallpaper. And I think I see actually a little leprechaun in the room <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, that's the leprechaun yeah. plushie, right? Oh my gosh, this is so clever. They positioned that perfectly. And I do love, this is, is this mystical mountain yes. wallpaper? It is a room with a view wallpaper and it has a flooring that goes with it. But this green flooring to make it the end of the rainbow is such a neat way to use this wallpaper. Yeah, it looks magical. It looks mm -hmm. like it's floating, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's like this floating clover patch up in the sky where the gold at the end of the rainbow is hidden. <laughs> yeah, it's I think great. that frog is going to have its <laughs> luckiest day ever. Yes, absolutely. So great job, mom number one. Very creative. Let's continue on here. This one's awesome as well. They, they all are. I'm so, you know, I think that these rooms just get better and better, Mandy, as we go. But um, yeah, we this is... So many beautiful rooms. Yeah, this is the North Pole. And this was sent in by our friend Bullseye Jingles 444. And I really like this one. So what they've done is on the right side there, they have all these little houses that looks like Santa's workshop. And on the left, they've lined up these little stables where the reindeer would sleep. And in the center, there's the Santa Kins himself on his sleigh with two reindeers getting ready to uh, take off. And, yeah, I think they're yeah. relaxing because, you know, it's their off season, right? <laughs> so maybe they're just hanging out today. But or practicing, yeah. Yeah, but so clever the way that they've put all the stables together mm -hmm. because, of course, there's a lot of reindeer to house, right? <laughs> so what a great idea. Yeah, every reindeer seems to <laughs> maybe just bunk with just one other reindeer. It's yeah. great. We all have our own space here. Yes, and I love how those reindeer are wearing snow goggles from um, our past winter festival. I love that too because you know if they're flying they can get snow in their eyes so that's the perfect accessory I yeah. guess if you're a 
Exactly. If you're a reindeer. Very cute. Now here's a cool room. It's an adventure room and it was sent in by Jake or Jack6302. Now again, a lot of different items were used in this room, but it kind of has an overlaying theme to it of adventure. There's pirates, there's, you know, a Western poster and some medieval stuff in there. So it definitely looks like somebody who loves adventure and loves collecting cool artifacts. Yeah, and I love the sort of chocolate browns that they've used, the flooring, and the wallpaper was, I think, a chocolate shop wallpaper was, or no, it's from the bake sale. Right, yeah, from but, our, our bake sale, yeah. But those rich woods really sort of go well with the theme they've used because, you know, mm. you picture like pirates and knights and cowboys and it's all kind of woody so yeah. <laughs> so it sort of goes with everything and it seems like the perfect background and and I like how they've got little sections it really works nicely mm -hmm. together I feel it's kind of a masculine room. I feel like maybe Indiana Jones or some other yeah. adventuring bachelor lives here. Yeah. It's, it's great. It is. And that bed in the back there, it's really cool. We gave it away for a deluxe challenge last year. But actually, we have one that's available in the W shop, and uh, it's red. It has red yeah. sheets instead of black. So really cool item. Love that pirate theme. But great job, Jack6302. Let's move on to Harvest Time that was sent in by Lena Nina. This is really cool and really colorful. So a lot of, I see berry stuff, berry items here from Jumbleberry Fields. And I see some of those apple trees that we gave away during Fall Fest. But it uh, looks like everything's ready to harvest and that monkey up there better be careful <laughs> not fall off oh, the ladder. Well, <laughs> I think maybe the monkey's going to jump into the vat and ah. <laughs> make some grape juice. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Monkeys are fine with heights. They're good. That's true. You don't have to worry about the monkey. I'm, I'm worried about about the dog wearing a crown. Is there some kind of berry princess we don't know about? <laughs> yeah, there you go. And I love the pies. That's such a great mm -hmm. touch, right? And then the greenhouse too, because some berries need different conditions to grow. You know, <laughs> I mean, jumble berries, you can grow anywhere, right? But other berries might need uh, some different conditions. So it's so clever yeah. how they've used these different fruits and, and storage items. And yeah, very creative. And guys, remember you can play jumble berries Berry field once a day at the arcade and every time you play you'll earn berries that you can feed to your pets so there you go well that was it for today that went really by really quickly it thank did. you michelle mm -hmm. for joining us today oh thank you michael and mandy thank you as always thanks for co-hosting and guys thank you for sending in your designs if you'd like to send us one send it to let's build at gans.com and who knows you might be featured on this video and then of course you'll want to subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com webkins so you'll never miss another video. Okay? Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.